In this lecture, you will learn how to use AppLoving advertising for Apple TV and Swift. First of all, go to AppLoving.com backslash integration. Once you're there, click on tvOS and TV SDK integration and it says download the latest SDK so go ahead, download it and untar it and unzip it. Alright, now you should have a folder and once you have that folder, just make sure you know where it is. Next thing you need to do is go to Xcode and make sure you open your Swift project. Once you're there, I want you to go back to your uh, folder that you just downloaded and you're going to drag and drop it inside of Xcode. Alright, under the Swift TV. All right. And now create a group and copy items if needed. Click on finish. By the way, it needs to be a TV OS file. All right. Now, next thing you need to do is create a bridge because right now these are um, these are Objective C headers, and we need to add this to um, to Swift. So I want you to right click under the, your project and do new file, and go under WatchOS source, and we're going to create a header file H. Click on next. And let's call it bridge and click on create by the way you can add it to the target Swift TV create alright so now we have our bridge file now next thing we need to do is tell Xcode that this bridge file is gonna bridge uh, the app loving but first of all let's do the imports here so here we're gonna do import and we're gonna import the app loving now I don't need to um, know all the import by heart. I just need to know that it's this import right here that we have so copy this and paste it right there All right, so now let's go to Swift TV or to uh, your main project go to the build uh, Build phase and let's start to link the libraries that we need to add and they all are listed here the add support Or you can just pause here and look at them. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add them There's add support, AV foundation, core graphics, core media, store kit, system configuration, and the last one UI kit. All right. Now, next thing you need to do is add your uploading SDK key. It's right there in the tutorial, so you just can just copy this one, and let's go ahead and add this to our um, info file. So, go to the Swift TV and click on info, and at the end or anywhere, click on plus, and add uploading SDK. Now, right here, paste your key. All right, Command V to paste. Now make sure that the Aplovin SDK key, actually I think I'm missing key at the end. There we go, and let me double check the exact name. The exact name should be right up top, right here, Aplovin SDK key. All right, so copy this and paste it right there. All right, so make sure you add that. And what we need to do now is be able to do this, but in Objective-C. We want to be able to initialize, but in Objective-C. But before we do so, we need to add the dash Objective-C flag as well. So. Let's go to build setting and right here search for other linker flags. And right here just add dash obj c. All right. Okay? So now let's go ahead and add the bridge. Click on on the build settings if you're not there already and here look for bridge. As soon as you do this it's uh, it's looking for bridges make sure it's using the bridge cast and install objective c compatibility header to yes now just write bridging and this is going to be the objective c bridging header and right here you need to add the file name that you added yourself now mine is called bridge.h so if you did the same thing as i did yours should be bridge.h as well all right so now we have the bridge now, 
try to run your app press command B or product build and see what happens and you get a build fail so click here and see what error you get and that's probably because it couldn't find the bridge file the reason why is that uh, depending on wherever you're putting your bridge file if you put it like me at the root here you would have to add the swift dash tv here so i'm going to add this here in the front of it there we go and that would fix the problem so now let me do product build so make sure you have the right um, the right path here that's very important all right now here is the secret to get all the files from uh, Applovin for Swift. If you open the folder, the Applovin that you added, you go to headers, you will see a file called AL Swift headers. I want you to click on it and then copy everything here, all the imports, and add them to your bridge file. All right, so you can even remove this one if you want and just paste this. All right, now build again, product build, and see if that works. Excellent. Now we can finally add the um, the initialization for the advertising interstitial or of our video. So let's go ahead and go to the appdelegate.swift. And within the uh, application did finish launching, let's try it out. A, L, S, and as you can see, everything appears here. So now what we need to add is um, from the documentation, you will see the um, AL SDK initialize SDK. So let's do this in Swift now. ALS SDK dot initialize SDK. All right. And you could put a semicolon or not. You know, you don't have to, but I like to add them. Now, if you want to show an ad, you, you have is ready for display, but we're going to use this, this kind of if statement right here. But we're going to write the same thing for Swift. Okay. All right. So. I'm going to use that inside of the view controller.swift in the view did load right here. I'm going to do if and I'm going to write ALS, so the AL interstitial, so AL interstitial add dot is ready for display. And here we're going to display it by doing the show. So AL interstitial add dot show. All right, so anytime it will be ready, it will show. Now, I probably want to create a click function so that uh, every time I will be able to show it to you, but hopefully this will um, load it on time. So I'm going to stop this and press play. And hopefully we can see it. All right. So as you can see, it says handling and SDK update migration. So as you can see, everything is getting loaded. So at this point, it's just about um, calling calling this again at the right time when the ad is ready. All right. So apparently, the ad is not ready. If I could, if I do a debug, it would show that the ad is not ready. But at this point, you get um, you have the full integration of the SDK. All right. Now I've added a show ad button with. In the background, just a function that calls the um, interstitial ad from the app login TVOS SDK. All right. Now I'm going to press play. And if it doesn't have an ad, it would it would display here in the console that it doesn't have an ad. But now I'm going to click on Show Ad by going on the Apple TV remote. And there we go. So as you can see now, we have everything integrated. Um, so if you have any question, feel free to ask.